at age 30, trying to fill the only hole in his resume. Six-time U.S. champion, six-time world champion medalist, including a gold. And there's Michael Weiss, another American, who is skating his final Olympic eligible skate as well. Michael says he's going to become a full-time dad when he finishes these Olympic Winter Games. And we'll see the popular Elvis Stoiko. He's still around. He'll be 30 in a month, but he's planning on going to the World Championships at age 30 next month. Yeah, you know, at 29, he'll be 30. He's doing quad triple right there, no problem. <laughs> tell you, he, he's found the fountain of youth this year. He's changed his diet, he changed his focus, and he exercised a lot of the demons that he carried around. After 98 Olympics, he really was injured there, and, he, and it really affected him emotionally. So it's nice to see him here in his final Olympic skate. Well, you never say never with Elvis, right? <laughs> And so, Todd, you know, out there just having a, a, a nice warm-up. He was pressing a little bit early, but he did a beautiful quad toe loop a few seconds ago and looks ready to step on the ice and do his final Olympic free skate. So a few nostalgic moments as we open our live coverage tonight. Todd's the first up, and his place in history already assured with those six U.S. championships, six world championship medals, the gold in 1996. I saw him backstage uh, just a few minutes ago before he took the ice for his warm-up. And he said, you're going to have some fun last time around. His dream was not to be as he fell in his short program. Christy Yamaguchi cried when he went to the ice. And it was obvious he would not get his uh, Olympic medal. But he is one of the all-time favorites. Let's savor the final Olympic skate for Todd Eldridge. better he really forced that as he did in the short program triple axel triple toe coming up right here to see kind of a glimpse of who these skaters are as people in their performance. Todd is as smooth off the ice as he is on. But under that casual demeanor is a fighter. He wouldn't have his track record if he wasn't. 
so popular that in his younger days, the entire town, Chatham, Massachusetts, his hometown, pitched in to help with expenses. Beautiful combination there, triple loop and the triple toe. plan here and you just sense that he's growing in his confidence finding his timing each jump has gotten straighter and more relaxed Congratulations. appreciating the finest view in the world. There's nothing better than looking up and seeing that. What a career. What and a gentleman. Vintage Todd Eldridge to go out on to. And uh, obviously the love affair between skating fans and Todd Eldridge still very much alive is his Final Olympic moment goes in the books. Grace for his coach, Richard Callahan. Thank you. Combination triple loop right here. Look how straight he is in the air. Nice and easy. Easy landing on one foot. Reaches back and just cranks that triple toe loop like it were nothing. Each jump, he grew in confidence. His parents. Ruth and John. They, they know how much this means to him. They, I talked to him today, and they were so sad after the short program, but they knew tonight was what meant the most to Todd, just to have a good skate, and he did. Todd left home at the age of 10 to train for the highest level of competitive skating. Hey, Grant. And he wanted so much to go out on a positive note as he has just done. The highest marks we've seen tonight, but they're leaving a lot of room. There's a lot of skaters left. The quad, it's the one jump that's eluded him. The rest of the program was absolutely stunning and perfect. What a great effort. Thank you. 